Hey folks, Champ here, bringing another audio commentary. Uh, today I'm going to do a bit of an old game between Grubby and Ted. And um, I probably should apologize in advance if I'm sort of sounding a bit disgusting in this game. I've actually been um, diagnosed with swine flu along with the rest of my staircase at um, university here. And so um, I'm past all the worst symptoms now. I'm no longer throwing up or hallucinating or sitting in my bed at a thousand degrees. So I decided, why not do an audio commentary? <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, and... Don't worry, I'm I'm okay. It seems uh, there was a bit of a sort of a scary moment where we were like everyone in my staircase was ill, and it was pretty sort of grim. But we're all seem to be doing okay now. And uh, back to the game. This is a bit of an old game. It's um, uh, best of three between Grubby and Ted. And I'm doing this just because there aren't really many leagues on at the moment. But you can see, yeah, this is still Grubby under his MIM tag. But I think this was actually one of his last games under his old MIM tag. This is after sort of the first break of M of MIM, and this is with um. Happy, sort of the new MYM, so called, just before he went into, um, before he became renamed Evil Geniuses. And you can see Ted is doing a standard fiend build for now. But, um, this is quite a fun game, and, uh, you'll see why in a second. Uh, you might actually recognize it. It's a very good game, so I imagine some of you have seen it. But it's, um, certainly quite educational and a fun strategy to try for if you're an undead. And, uh, yeah, Playmaster for Grubby, and if we just take a quick look, uh, so Grat's just finishing now, and we can see Ted is going for a Lich, and I'm sorry about bad mouse control, I'm on a trackpad and still a bit ill, but um, uh, yeah, so Ted's going for a Lich, and so that really means he's going to go for a tower push, and it's going to be very useful, Grubby can scout this, but um, I don't actually remember if he does, I don't think, I guess he sends his peon back, um, uh, because uh, this is going to really put, be that um, Ted's going to put a lot of aggression right on uh, Grubby, as soon as this Lich comes out, he's going to bring an Acolyte and um, a couple of Fiends and then also his Lumber Ghouls as well, just so he can do as much damage as possible. And um, he'll probably go for Frost Armor first to counter both the, well, both the Blade Master and the Grunts, but um, especially the Blade Master. And um, as you can see, Grubby's already sold his, uh, sold his Town Portal, bought a, circlet, bought a second Circlet now, and it's now creeping, and Ted's using his first Fiend uh, just to do a bit of scouting now. Uh, I think he might have actually missed that creeping there, I'm not sure. Um, bit careless by Ted there. And um, the Lich is now out, and uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, a Skull, necromancy, Ron Necromancy, and a Dust of Appearance, you don't really need your Town Portal, this is a very much all-in strategy, and if you're forced to TV out, then it's pretty much over. And a um, bit of bad luck for Grubby, but in his Voodoo Lodge, re um, that was really th far out, which means he's not going to be able to um, shop while being attacked and just run to the back of his base and heal up. Uh, but uh, he might be able just to run his units out to the Health Fountain, which he is now partially creeping out. But um, as you can see, uh, Ted now just running in with uh, four skeletons, a couple fiends, and his ghouls as well, and two acolytes, uh, which means that even if uh, Grubby does manage to kill one of the acolytes, uh, Ted will still have another one. And it's so important to get your ac to um, get those cigarettes down that it's really worth that risk. And uh, this is probably the first point that Grubby's realizing what's happening here. And um, he's immediately going to have to run all his units back. You see he canceled his tech there because a tech is useless. If he managed to... Um, if he manages to hold it off long enough that he gets to tier two, then he could pretty much win it anyways, and um, it just it get, gets him a load uh, a load of extra gold, so um, it's very worth doing. And as you can see, Grubby uh, knows he can't fight directly, and so he's gonna um, counter attack. He does have a level two blade master, and is um now probably now researching pillage, and um so if he just um and so even though he is gonna lose his barracks, he will get one more grunt out and. That's going to waste a bit of uh, Ted's time, and obviously, um, by getting those ziggurats up, as long as he gets at least one frost tower, that's going to be very useful against um, the Blade Master. And as you can see, uh, he's having to actually, rep uh, uh, Ted's being forced to repair uh, his uh, ziggurats, which are now under attack by Grubby. And so a nice uh, counter attack there by Grubby, because obviously, um, Ted didn't bother to actually do any, um, put any defenses in his own base, because he, because this is such a sort of full frontal attack that you need all the money you can get and grab me up putting up a war mill as well so maybe you just gonna go for some towers as well um obviously orc tower is very strong um as long as you can get them far enough away that they can't be hit by all the fiends and um now these towers are upgraded and i think grubby's gonna have to run away he does uh he is good, doing a good job of distracting ted ted has three um accolades repairing that ziggurat and um grubby actually putting up a burrow here just um i guess just to hide it a bit i'm surprised it isn't a bit more hidden but uh, it's not too great. It's not a terrible position. And Ted not yet up upgrading these um, ziggurats just because he doesn't have the money yet. But I imagine he um, he will soon. And uh, Grubby now being forced to 
uh, run two of his grunts back to the health fountain, I, th I assume. Yep, they're there. And I'm actually building another uh, burrow there, so it's actually turned out quite good that he had that P on there, because it's going to mean that he's... Uh, sorry, that he's uh, uh, going to be able to build things like that um, away from Ted's view. And uh, Ted is now upgrading uh, one Nerubian Tower, one Spirit Tower. That's pretty sensible. You really just need to slow that um, uh, the Blade Master, and then you're pretty much fine. And uh, you can see, uh, obviously, Lich has a lot of mana, even at level 1. And uh, Frost Armor isn't very expensive, so it's good just to keep it on, all, on your important units. And any units being for focused, if you just cast it on that, um, that's very useful as well. And you can see Grubby just um, keeping on creeping. He knows he can't take the fight, and actually has his P on here, so he might even try and expand. That'd be very nice by him, because he isn't actually spending money on much anymore. Uh, uh, he is building a grunt still, but he should be careful, because I think um, these peons are just going to go down. Uh, that are repairing it, and yeah, it looks like one's already gone down, it looks like these other two might go down as well. One's definitely going down, yep. Um, uh, Grubby continuing to build peons, so, and uh, having this uh, war mill here is also going to mean that he's going to be able to build, um, harvest lumber without having to go past um, uh, sort of all the uh, fiends and the towers, and so that's going to be very useful for him as well. And um, Meanwhile, Grubby is now setting up this expansion, that's very nice, and assuming Ted doesn't scout it at least, if Ted does scout it, then Grubby's going to be in a lot of trouble. And uh, Grubby is now running back uh, to his base, and uh, he does have a good number of grunts now, he has uh, six grunts, and um, he speed scrolls in, uh, that's pretty sensible, and Ted meanwhile is setting up a shop and a crypt. Um, obviously, a shop, having a shop useful is basically like having a um, backpack that's slightly better, and um, uh, having the crypt is just good for uh, faster production. And also, um, it increases blight and gets in the way of the grunts trying to attack the uh, the towers and stuff. So, um, all very sensible things. And Grubby realizes that uh, I don't, this isn't really a fight he can take. His blade master, while being level three and actually having a fair bit of a fair few hit points, almost a thousand hit points already, uh, just taking too much damage. He's gonna have to run away. And uh, Ted is allowed to go back to um, taking out Grubby's base. But Grubby is doing a very good time, a very good job of just stalling for time here. Um, I think uh, Ted really needs to uh, build maybe a. A couple, either a couple more fiends or um, do a bit more scouting really, I've scout this ideally, but he doesn't know that expansion is going up. Or he could start Tekka actually, uh, because if he could get a good tier 2 later um, while just stalling with this, this would be a very good thing just to stall with for a bit while I'm teching. Uh, that could work very well for him as well, and uh, resetting up this crypt here as well. And um, looks like this acolyte might go down. Yeah, he does. Uh, Ted doesn't manage to cast frost armor, although that probably wouldn't have changed anything anyways. Um, Ted, uh, as you can see, the problem with this is that uh, with the strategy is that t the Lich is only level 1, and so you constantly need to have Frost Armor on your Lich so that he isn't focused down by the Blade Master. But simultaneously, that means that you don't have um, Frost Nova, which would just be so useful in this situation. And Grubby, um, having all his peons forced out of the base now, because uh, all the burrows are down, so there's no real defenses for uh, for him. And uh, so Ted really is free reign, he's going to try and take out this main, and I think Grubby's... Grubby has set up another um, barracks here, not enough gold and, or um, food actually to build more grunts at the moment. So um, I guess uh, Grub uh, Grubby's going to lose this expansion by the looks of it. Uh, level 2 on the Lich finally, and uh, so the peons look like they're just all heading towards this expansion, which is now up and doesn't have any um, peons on it. Uh, Meanwhile, a bunch of grunts uh, running by, and uh, one one upgraded actually as well. That's be just because Grubby had so much spare um, resources, and he didn't really have anything to spend it on. He decided to um, just get all the upgrades he could. And once he, if he goes for tier two as well, um, getting a berserker upgrade will really have a very good effect because he has so many grunts, and um, grunts obviously are so good against fiends. Um, uh, meanwhile, I think uh, I'm not sure if Ted, uh, Ted's actually made a bit of a mistake here. He's left an acolyte. Um, not on his ziggurat, uh, not on his mine. Oh no, he's he's just built um six. Sorry, um, uh, but I think he should probably bring that to the expansion now because his um, mine is blocked off. Um, and it looks like Ted has now scouted this barracks. He, he'll take out the um burrow first because that's gonna go down really quickly. And it looks like he's just gonna head straight back because uh a load of grunts and the blade master are heading in now to take out this lich and a critical straight from Grubby. Uh really does a lot, is just so good against um, the Lich, and the Lich is very low now, he is trying to run away, but it looks like this run's going to get a bit of a block, and um, obviously tier 1's here for Ted, so he can't buy any items that's going to heal him up, and uh, 8 hit points, and the uh, Lich does go down, and the Blade Master very low, 15 hit points, um, Grubby salving up, but that um, uh, Fiend's going to cancel it, and then he's going to have to run to a um, uh, healing fountain now, to heal up back up fully, and it looks like Grubby's going to lose one grunt here, but uh, that's a very nice trade for him. 
And meanwhile, um, his head, head lessons are attacking yet, and I really think he should. I mean, he needs a bit more gold, but that wouldn't be the end. That that isn't too much trouble. And um, Ted Ted could even actually put up an expansion here because he does have a couple towers in the area. Although he would need to block off his base, which might be just too expensive. I think he'd probably be better just attack at this point. And meanwhile, Grubby's probably just healing up. Yeah, Grubby's just healing up. Obviously, he can't take out this Drake yet, which is a bit unfortunate. But um, also salving up as well. So. Uh, clearly he just wants to be in, uh, uh, since he doesn't have very many units, he wants them to all be as healthy as possible. And putting up another barracks at his expansion, as well as another voodoo lounge. Um, actually very close to this other voodoo lounge, but that's pretty sensible really. And uh, the grunts are just uh, harassing a bit, harassing the base of Ted, and the lich is almost back. And um, I'm, I'm really surprised Ted isn't attacking, he's just going for more and more um, fiends, actually going for some more ghouls now. That's probably quite sensible, because with um, Frost Nova and Frost Armor, uh, it'd be very easy to surround grunts. Um, but but still, I think um, some teching might be quite good in this situation. And uh, the Blade Master is coming back in, and uh, uh, just keeping this um, barracks alive.